Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be building something really, really cool. Now, might not come to as a surprise to a lot of you that I am a big, 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 big Disney fan. I love Disney, love the Disney theme parks. So, today we are going to be building my favorite ride in Disney. But it's not, there's, there's going to be a little bit of a difference to how the ride is. Unlike the ride in the theme park, there's not going to be a track and there's not going to be a ride cart. You're going to be able to walk through it normally. We're building it as it was a real place. The attraction we are going to be building is the Haunted Mansion. And not, not the, not that Disney World one. We're doing the original Disneyland one. So, obviously, we need somewhere to build it. So I cleared out this big mass of land right here. And this is what we're going to use for it. So, I say, let's just get right into it. Okay, and we are done with the build. This build took me around three or four hours to do. Extra hour because I started working on the inside a little bit. Tiny, idiot, idiot bit. Just getting it set up for us. But I think this build looks amazing. I honestly think it is one of my better ones. I'm not really too worried about hiding any of this since you're mainly going to be viewing it from the front but yeah. I love how the ship ended up turning out. I think it looks really really cool. I really really am proud of how this turned out. Hope you enjoyed the mini time lapse that it did. I'm going to show this pr for a brief second but yeah I think now it is time we start working on the inside. Here I will give you the quick tour. So this is where I want to end up putting the ballroom. I want to put it just right over to the side. So we're going to put the opening and closing door hallway kind of thing here. Stretching room we're gonna end up putting here. Here we got the endless hallway. So then if I walk up this mini staircase here it'll take us up to the third floor where we're gonna have Madame Leota's room as well as the attic scene. So let's get started at the bottom part. Now for the ballroom I think it's gonna be 
pretty simple looking. I obviously can't get that overhang that the ride has as of the limited space even though we do have the immersive portal mod and I, I guess I could use that but I want to kind of keep things small and simple. So there are a few key things that I want to end up putting here. I want to put the piano and then the long table. All right now we have the the <laughs> the table done with the very little to no decoration there. However things are gonna get a lot better just Give me a second to uh, get this all decorated. Now this room doesn't look like the greatest thing in the world, but you know, gets the job done as the ballroom. Okay, so I kind of have an idea for something, right? I'm only gonna create mod in here, and I want to make it so there's actual ghosts dancing. So, how am I gonna do it? Well, I am not sure, but I think I have an idea, so let me test it out and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what I got. So, the bad thing about this machine is that the armor stands will not actually turn. They just kind of face one way while this spins. But... Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. We're just dancing. So, I was wondering if I put him kind of like this, it'll almost be like they're spinning in a circle. And I feel like that could be, that could work. It's a ballroom. They're having fun. They gotta dance to the, the piano that's clearly playing. But let's see. Oh my gosh. It works. It definitely works. Okay. I think we should, uh... Get this hooked up to something a little bit more with uh, with redstone. Something let's let's hook it up to redstone basically. So this goes. This is the toggled latch. Basically T flip flop, just smaller. And then this is hooked up there. It's really really simple, easy. If I press that button, boom. Now I'm dancing with them. This is <laughs> this is very very funny. I like this. Okay, I need to uh, get out of here before I get distracted and want to build more of this room when we still have five more to do and I'm still distracted on that one. But let's get on to the opening and closing doors. So for this one, it's gonna be really, really easy. Kind of dumb, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be really, really stupid um, because I don't even think we need to use the create mod for this, technically. We are just going to be using normal vanilla stuff for this because of, um, I don't know, I guess it's just easier, um, there's not really any reason behind it, it's just, it's easy, so why not? So let's just, uh, set this up. Well, that's done, and it is incredibly annoying, and there's no way to turn it off, so we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna turn that down. I'm joking, I'm joking. We'll just break that one piece of redstone dust for now. Place is back, and, uh, I'm gonna put a button right there so that we'll toggle it on to shut all those doors and then walk away and never come back but now it is time we go upstairs to the next room now it is time probably for what some of you have been waiting for i know i've been waiting for the stretching room so for the stretching room it is kind of a circle kind of it's more of a kind of he hexagon thing but i think the shape we will go for is Probably something along the lines of this. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of room to do this because it needs to actually be able to get there. So I would say we can't go past here, I would say. This is kind of our limits that we're putting up as well as right here. So I would basically block it off. Well, this is basically the space we're working with right here for it. So let's just kind of build a shape and then that's what we have to stick with. Now this will work. This is not a bad shape. It's got that stretching room shape. So I think this is what we're gonna do for it. Seems pretty perfect, actually. So we'll have the door be here, I guess. And what do we have over here? Don't really have anything on this side of the wall except for a window that we need to be careful of. But right here, there's not much. So I think we'll try and fit a little bit of redstone. So I think for this stretching room, since we can't go down, we need to go up. So let's see. So we have the area built, looks pretty much fine. And I have the, uh, kind of what we need. All right, so I'm finding a problem with this where I need to move these five blocks. 
so I can make a doorway. So we are going to have to put a mechanical sticky piston right about here. Then I also have to make sure that I can get this to actually function and work. So I need to press this, be able to walk in here, and then have this start stretching. So let's figure this out. It's not going to be a very big stretching room. In fact, I'm going to move the paintings down by one. Let's put that there. Ooh, this is going to make things really, really simple. I believe I have the button right there. Yes, 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 yes. I am really, really liking this. Let me do this. Door shuts. Look up. Wow. Never did I think ever in Minecraft that this would be possible. So once again, right, you'll walk up, open this. What does this do? Shuts that. That is amazing. Okay, let's get on to the next room right now. This is, and I'm gonna be honest when I say this, the room I was fearing to do most. Now, I am not very smart when it comes to the portal mod. I really am not. So, I'm gonna go somewhere kinda far away and do a little bit of testing. Perfect, we have a little village here that we can terrorize. So I want to test something out with it, because if I mess up, I, I, I know there's gotta be a way to erase the portals, but I need to test that. So let's do slash delete portal. Oh, does that, do, did that work? Oh, 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 this does work. Okay, well now I don't fear anymore. Okay, so let's go and get on with the next room. So for the endless hallway, we are basically just going to create a hallway. That, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Just creating a hallway and copying it over and over again. Literally, it. So it starts there, stops here. We need to actually break down in the floor, I think. So now we need to put a portal right here. Big old portal right here. Um, in fact, I think we want to build this in the walls too. And then we can just replace it afterwards. Same with here. So we don't need to do that corner one. But yeah, just gonna have to do this for now. Everything will be okay. So now, we light it, delete portal, walk through it, delete portal, easy, okay. Jeez, this, uh, this immersive portal mod is cool. Like, look at this. This is this is what it comes down to, basically, is uh, we're just going to cover this up with, like, black concrete or something, I don't know. Just call it good. Bury it and don't think about it, basically. That's what we're doing. Oh, there we go. Now, it does suck because you see yourself, but, I mean, hey, it's the endless hallway. Like what? That's so cool. Okay, so now let's put the doors. And now, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this in one spot only? This is tough, this is tough. Lanterns can't float, right? Yeah, you can't have them float. Just do it like that, I guess. I mean, that gives us a bunch, but technically it's floating. It might be creepier just seeing a bunch of them floating there. Yeah, but like, yeah, if you try and walk down here, it is endless. You're not gonna reach the end anytime soon. So yeah, that's pretty epic. We got the endless hallway done. And now we are on to our last two scenes. So let's work on Madame Leota's room area. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure how we are going to do this. I'm just kind of uh, gonna try some stuff and hope that it works. So, how are we gonna do Madame Leota's head? Well, this is how we're gonna do it. And perfect, Madame Leota. We did it. Yeah, Madame Leota has not aged well. So, Madame Leota has things that fly around her, and yeah, we're just gonna do something like that, kind of. Oh, shoot. Look at them. She's doing her thing. The bell actually rings after that. Oh, that's pretty funny. But yes, we did it. We got Madame Leota's tiny little room done. I feel like it needs to be darker, so give me a sec. Let's just, uh... Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's very, very scuffed, but you know what? It works, and it gets the job done. Plus, look at that. It spins, and then the bell rings. Let's go. But now we are on our last part of the mansion, the attic scene. So, let's get this a little bit more set up. I kind of want there to be a sliding door. Just kind of, because I feel like that's an attic kind of thing. Right, be a sliding door. So let's just get this slime, I guess. Okay, that door needs to be a little bit quicker. Mm, okay. 
whatever. I'm fine with it being up there. All right, so now we got the door done. Had to fit it, all the redstone in a, a really tiny space, but look at that, we did it. So I guess let's get started on making the final room of the mansion. Now for this room, once again, this is the more serious part of the ride. So, I am not really sure what to put here, but I guess we will find out. Okay, right now I think I'm going to start off by making this room by working on rafters, kind of. Doing something a little bit like this, I feel like would be a pretty good start. Because, yeah, attic, old. Put some cobwebs up too. I'm not really going to do a whole lot. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, polish it up. Cause I mean, it's a, it's an attic, but like, come on, got a little bit of decency. It's haunted by some pretty happy haunts. Okay, we got this place actually kind of like a room, which is very, very good. Put a little bit more cobwebs around, and then we got to make the one, the only funny person over here. So we'll do this, and then what type of armor do we want? You know, I'm gonna dye some stuff, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. So, we now have the one and only little, little sad, little sad person over here. Kind of, kind of crying, kind of doing whatever, you know, being all sad and alone. Like, a loser. Like, come on, get some friends. Nerd. Okay, okay. So now, we got this. I believe the attic is finally done. Which means that we are done with the Haunted Mansion. Let's just uh, go through a quick uh, run through of everything we've done. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Alright guys, that was the Haunted Mansion build with mods. That was really, really fun to do. I really enjoyed it, and let me know if you'd like to see me do anything like this again. Maybe with other Disney rides, maybe with something completely different. Just, you guys can figure it out. But yeah, if you did enjoy this, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, or if you haven't already liked. But thank you so much if you've gotten this far in the video. And yes, this is, uh, this is very epic. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.